growing sun-loving shrubs with colorful flowers in that sun-baked spot in your yard is one of the best ways to make your landscape pop. While most flowering shrubs prefer sunny locations, the shrubs in this group have been selected for a specially vibrant color and with a range of bloom times that help you plan a complete sequence of bloom. Guided by this list of seven recommended shrubs, you can have something at its peak from early spring to late summer and early fall. Number one, Forsythia. Forsythia is a great flowering shrub for very early season blooms in sunny locations, though it can work in part shade as well. For many northern gardeners, Forsythia is the first shrub that blooms each spring, almost as soon as the snow melts. Forsythias are fairly tolerant of poor garden soil, and they have some drought tolerance once established. As long as you situate them somewhere that gets a lot of sunlight, they should grow well for you. Number 2. Mock Orange White flowers are especially desirable for those seeking to create moon gardens, but you don't have to be a moony to admire mock orange. Mock orange blooms in May to June, taking over after the forsythias and flowering quince have ended their display. Many people grow this shrub because of the citrus-like fragrance of its white flowers. Maintenance is generally very simple for mock orange shrubs. They don't often have issues with pests or diseases, and established shrubs will only need watering during periods of drought. Plan both to fertilize and prune your shrub annually. Number 3. Wygella. The traditional species version of Wygella florida is an old-fashioned favorite, but there are plenty of new cultivars on the market now. Wygella flowers from April to June and grow as high as 10 feet. It is an excellent shrub for borders, screens, or foundation plantings. The plant itself is relatively easy to care for and will reward you with light pink blooms, which could also be red or white, depending on the cultivar in late spring and early summer. Number 4. Flowering Quince Flowering Quince is another early bloomer for sunny locations. It usually blooms early enough to be in flower while forsythias are still blooming. If you grow these two shrubs next to each other, the yellow-orange combination makes for an eye-popping display. Flowering quince also comes in red varieties. Flowering quince grows adequately in most soil types other than alkaline clay, and pruning is necessary only if you decide to shape the shrub. Number 5. Double file viburnum. Double file viburnum is a particular genetic form of V. plicatum that features flat topped flower clusters, forming two rows across the tops of the branches. Its white blooms appear in April, and May this fast growing shrub can grow to be rather large 10 to 12 feet. So give it a healthy pruning after flowering is over each spring to keep its size manageable. Its fall foliage and berries can be nice bonuses. Although this shrub often underperforms in this regard. Number 6. Rose of Sharon. This beautiful plant can be especially useful to gardeners seeking continual color in the landscape because they bloom late in the growing season when most other shrubs are long past their floral heyday. Most rows of Sharon varieties grow to be between 8 to 12 feet high, with a spread of 6 to 10 feet. They make a lovely blooming hedge, but because they are not evergreen and drop their leaves in the fall, they don't provide any screening during the winter months. Number 7. Common Lilac If you want a flowering shrub with an in-your-face fragrance, you can do no better the common lilac. Blooming in early to mid-spring, a nearby lilac can often be identified by scent long before you see it. Lilac shrubs can quickly grow quite large, to 16 feet, so unless you have plenty of space, be prepared for occasional hard pruning. Once they're established, lilacs don't require much maintenance. They will typically only need watering during prolonged periods of drought, and they prefer annual fertilization. Pruning also is generally an annual task. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. If you like this video, 
Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for supports our channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell for latest videos from us. Well, see you in the next interesting topics.